Welcome to week four of Instant Replay. I've listened to you comment section. You don't see Bobby Warshaw for a reason. That's because we've brought him back. The man, the myth, the legend. His name starts with an S. Drum roll, please. Stephen Keo. Yes. 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 Let's go. Yes. Thank you. You're going to be happy, commenters. And we get this week started at Matt Free Stadium, where Ben Olsen was. He was mad, real mad. To the 42nd minute we go with DC United down 2-1 and Lucho Acosta wins the ball in the final third and uh, that looks like a foul to me, but there's no call from referee Drew Fisher and Columbus Crew SC goes the length of the field, Stephen. Here's the question. Should video review have been used there? Was that attacking phase? Was that a foul? Should the goal not have counted? For sure. First and foremost, that is a foul, a 100% clear foul on Lawless Abubakar. Second thing is, it does start the attacking phase of play. His pass plays forward. Every pass from the crew SC after that one is going for the least to a goal. In my estimation, 100% a foul, 100% should have been reviewed. And uh, Ben Olsen agrees with you, and so do I, man. Look, that is two-footed. I know he gets that foot down, but that's a foul. Call it back. Genesis is the attacking play. Video review, in my opinion, should have been used there. But let's rewind it here, because Lalo Sabubakar is on a yellow card. Right. Could that have been a sending off? Could that have changed the game completely? And I'm going to say, yeah. The ball is past him. Look at that right foot, how high it is. The only thing keeping this from being perhaps excessive force is that he doesn't connect with Lucho Acosta. I think it stops a promising attack. I think it's yellow card. I think it should be gone. I think you might be one of the smartest guys in this room Woo! right now. I have to agree with you. Definitely, like you said, Lucho jumps the tackle, saving himself and probably his legs from a Manassi challenge in my book. Yellow card. We already know what Ben Olsen thinks of this one, but I want to know what you think. Meanwhile, we're going to head out to Frisco for FC Dallas and Portland Timbers, where Mark Geiger was in charge, and he had an eighth-minute dog so shout here, Stephen. Uh, Matt Hedges came through the back of Fernando Adi. No doubt about that. You could argue he's the final man, but is this dog so should have been a red card? In my estimation, no, it should not have been a red card. He is a good 45 yards away from goal. Yeah. The immediate threat to, to scoring a goal is not obvious. I think the fair call, yellow, and a foul. Yeah, there's a recovery defender there. I'm with you on this one, Stephen. Let's fast forward to the 74th minute when Roland Lama was not happy about this yellow card for tackle on Sebastian Blanco. Yellow, red, no foul? Definitely a foul. He gets the ball, but he kind of comes over to the side of it a little bit, connects with Sebastian Blanco. My estimation, a yellow card foul pretty straightforward. Yeah, Roland Lamont doesn't agree, but I agree with Steven. And this sets up a big play in this match because the free kick leads to this cross, which Lawrence Olam does what? He, is that like, it's like best estimation of like Superman uh, trying to punch that ball? I don't know, man. And it's one, that's definitely a head scratcher. 100% gets the call right. Geiger gets the call right. I don't know what he's doing right there. I don't right know there. either, man. Maradona, the ball's a little bit closer. You gotta be sneakier. When your hand's up like this, it's yellow card all day long. And Lawrence Ola marches off the field with no disagreement. 93rd minute, though. Marco Farfan, he touches the ball with his hand. Should right. FC Dallas be mad they didn't get a win here? The FC Dallas is definitely gonna be mad, but in my, it's correct call. Yeah. Right, there's two parts to this handball. Is one, is it ball to hand or hand to ball? This is definitely, he tries to make a clearance, it deflects off his foot, the ball strikes his hand, and his hands are in a natural position, albeit they are up. But when he's lunging for that yeah. ball, his hands are up to kind of to balance himself, his face is forward, facing forward, he knows nothing about it, no call, no call. Yeah, penalty. look, it hits him in the foot, he wins the ball, unfortunately the bounce gets him in the arm. I think a good no call there from Mark Geiger. Out to Gillette Stadium we go, where Jerry Marufo was in charge of the Revs and NYCFC. He had a decision to make in the 29th minute. Christian Pania comes through on Maxim Chino and, ooh, studs are up ah, here. That one's going to sting, but I think it's the right call. Studs up. It wasn't malicious. He gets his foot through the ball, but he kind of pulls back. He doesn't go through him. Yellow card's fired. Yeah, here's the question. Reckless or excessive force? I don't think this is excessive force, therefore a yellow card. Good call there from Jared Marufo. Let's go to the 34th minute when Ismael Tadjuri Shradi went down in the box. Uh, let's go to the judges here. Stephen Keel, uh, that's uh, probably a dive. That's 100% a mm, yeah. dive. You can see, even before he starts to make contact, he's starting to make that lunge. Juliana Baba gives him the old ole as he yep. goes by. Yeah, you can eat a yellow card here. And look at him talk to each other. Marufo, <laughs> Dejuri Shradi, they know. He knows. He would get two goals in this game. A draw for NYCFC, so he probably doesn't care. But on to the 62nd minute where Joe Inge-Burgett goes down under this challenge, and that immediately leads to the goal, man. I think that's a foul. I think back. Joao Plata, Dan Yakovic, that PK call. I said it was a PK despite the fact that Yakovic didn't get the man. I think this holds true here. Forget wins the ball, has to go down because he comes through his legs. 
I think Julio Obama got lucky. I think it's just two guys going for a 50-50 ball. Yes, he has to jump over him. But what is he supposed to do? What is Julio supposed to do? He's trying to win the ball. Two guys trying to win the ball. No foul for me. At the very least, careless. I think it should be a foul. I don't think that goal should have stood. Let's go to the 68th minute where Burgett was involved in another controversial play. This might be a penalty kick. Look at the arm there on the back side. He's got a hold of him. Andrew, as a former center back, I empathize with <laughs> Anababa again. The piece, the, the forward, Burgett, is holding uh, uh, Anababa just as much as yeah. Anababa is holding. It's just two guys, two big guys going for the ball. They both got their hands wrapped around each other. It's hard to say who pulls, who doesn't pull. No foul, no good, I'm no with call. you on this one. I've been on the side of pushing and shoving leads to PKs, but I think this is two guys in a bear hug, doing their thing in the box, good no call. To Red Bull Arena we go, where Helio Grajeda was taking charge of this one with Jorge Gonzalez in the VAR booth. 45th minute, Red Bull had a goal called back, and when it comes to temper tantrums, Ben Olsen and Danny Roy are gonna be neck and neck. He is it, not happy, He man. is not, man. He is not, he's not happy about this one, but it looks like a clear foul. Alex Mawil stomps on the foot of the Minnesota defender. This is pretty uh, cut and dry. Good call right there uh, by Grajeda. Stomps on his foot. Yeah, foul, look, no goal. Red Bull win, doesn't matter. On to the 75th minute we go, and Grajeda had a decision to make here because here comes Ibsen, and he's diving in. Two-footed, he yeah. lunges, he jumps in the tackle. Reckless, yes. Excessive force, no, I don't think so. He does kind of get a little bit of the ball. His cleats aren't showing. Kind of bends his knees, limiting the contact. Good call, yellow. Uh, I'm going to come with a little bit of the outside the box take, which is give a yellow card to both these guys. What's Chukowski doing? He's on the ground. I think that's a dangerous play. He gets his studs up as well. Drop ball. He, he's protecting himself. The dude's <laughs> jumping in at him, right? All right. Let us know what you think. All right, we finished things off at Dick Sporting Goods Park, and both Rapids goals had a hint of controversy. Soren Toika in charge of this one. Let's take a look at goal number one. Did Edgar Castillo handle this to bring it down? Uh, it looks like it, but the evidence is not conclusive. I don't think he did. That, to me, is part of the shoulder. Good no call. Uh-huh, that's a defender's yes. pick in there. One that wants to get assists. And on the second goal, we have some props to give. To uh, AR, Oscar Mitchell Carvalho, he keeps his flag down. Yeah, look up the line there. Eichel Parra keeps him on. Eichel Parra, probably a good yard behind him. Good job, Oscar, on the, keeping your flag down. Yeah, well done. Now let's take a look at this play with Jack Price. He's already on a yellow. That's a high boot. If I was Simon Borg, I might call it a red card. You give him a second yellow card? I don't know. He doesn't know. even make contact. Listen, if you just give me a second yellow card and you send me off for something like that, I'm kicking every single water bottle onto the field <laughs> as I walk off because that is definitely foul. Yes, second yellow, no. I would pay to watch that show. Thank you so much for watching Insta Replay from week four. We know you wanted Simon Borg. You're not going to get him. For Andrew Wiebe, Stephen Keel, we'll see you next week.